Hello, Interisti from around the world, or should I say champions of Italy? Because yes, today guys, I'm here for a little bit of a therapy session, but let's not forget with everything, all the reactionary takes and all the pain and saltiness from yesterday night's defeat against Milan in the Milan derby. Let's not forget who is holding this badge right here, the champions of Italy badge. And let's not forget who is top of the league right now. And uh, let's congratulate AC Milan for moving up from third position to third position in the league table with yesterday's win. But jokes aside, you know, today I watched Napoli. Venezia didn't do us any favours, so Napoli are back on uh, second position just behind us. And of course, we're playing Napoli next. But we're still top of the league, as I said, guys. And my thoughts actually from last night haven't changed much. I usually, you know, uh, the match reaction straight after the match usually is a bit more reactionary, is a little bit more, you know, hot take type of vibe. But I'm still feeling the same as yesterday. You know, we were but the better team dominated most of the match um we didn't take our chances and in the end they scored off two mistakes the alexis sanchez losing the ball in midfield and then the defending for the second one the goalkeeper mistake we don't need to get into too much yesterday's match but today just a reminder guys it's not the end of the world i i looked at the statistics for other leagues uh inter now we have two defeats in the in the, in the season in the league so do Man City. Man City have two defeats, or they might even actually have three defeats. Uh, Real Madrid have two. Bayern Munich have three in the leagues. You know, these are the four leaders within their within their league. And of course, the gap between first, second, third is much bigger in the other leagues. That's the issue right now in the Italian Serie A at the moment. The, the 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 competition in the top, you know, three, four, five teams is actually really good uh, this season, which is good for neutrals, not great for everyone else. Uh, but just to put it into perspective, you know, second loss of the season, it really isn't the end of the world, guys. It's just that everyone else is close to us. Napoli and Milan especially are close to us. Um, Atalanta slipped up. Let's see what Juve do now against Hellas Verona. going to tune in with my notepad just to make every single Vlahovic possible mistake that he makes. I'm going to note it down going from my from the biggest um, Vlahovic fan to the biggest uh, Vlahovic hater now. Guys, let's not panic. And I know yesterday night, especially there was a lot of... Uh, last night, there was a lot of slander for the substitutes. You know, Vidal uh, in the comments and on Twitter, I'm seeing a lot of slander for Vecino. Um, you know, everyone that came on, Sanchez as well. At the end of the day, guys, we've been saying we've been saying the whole season that we have, we're happy with our depth. Yes, we can improve on it for sure. There's no lies that you can improve on this Vecino right now, that you can improve on this Vidal right now, this Gagliardini there's players out there that you can definitely improve that midfield on it but you can't tell me and uh, this is repeating what i said last night that you know them bringing on krunic and messias is you know that kind of depth that inter are lacking um and not to defend vecino in these types of players but vecino in the international break who starts in midfield for uruguay vecino valverde and bentancur um you know he's he's not a scrub such a scrub that you know everyone wants to make him out to be uh vidal is still a really important player for chile so, so so is sanchez like this is not you know we're not talking about serie b level of players we're just talking about guys that are definitely not as good as they used to be a few years ago they're definitely you know not in their peak at the moment and i would still trust them when we rotate like against roma i'd still trust you know vidal vecino gagliardini to come in as to be starters in that match to, to get to get a result uh, if needed um i watched today actually i watched sassuolo you know the guys that we all want have been hyping i've been saying you know these these guys let's watch them over a longer period let's not hype them too quickly fratesi especially today substituted around the 60th minute nothing nothing from fratesi today Got completely overrun by sampdoria's midfield couldn't hold the ball didn't do anything positive lost the ball loads of times run around a lot without actually doing much this is the guy that you think would make a massive impact at Anfield. The guy that just played in Serie B last year. Um, you know, this you gotta be you gotta be balanced with some of these views. You, these guys they look good, but you gotta watch them over an extended period. Today he did not look good. Raspadori actually out of Scamacca, uh, Fratesi, and uh, him himself Raspadori. He's the one who actually looked the best out of the three. Scamacca was kind of uh, ineffective as well. Um, so it just it just goes to show. I mean, Sassuolo in general had a bad day, but again, if you these guys are going to come in and make an impact at Inter, but they can't make an impact at the Marassi against Sampdoria, uh, Sampdoria team that have been struggling a lot this season. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't show me that these guys are the ones that are going to change the face of our Inter team. And the guy actually who stood out the most, the guy that we already own, Stefano Sensi, coming today with a goal. I was so happy for Sensi to get his goal. 
he was celebrating against his old team Sassuolo. Um, he was, you know, controlling the play. He played in the attacking mid position in the four three one two, as we anticipated when we sold him and we loaned him out. That you know that could be a good position for him, and it was. He really was one of the best players out on the pitch. And you know who the other standout guy was? Antonio Candreva, the candy man, coming out with two assists and a Panenka penalty. Um, yeah, those are the two guys that stood out in that match. And of course, the, I read more takes about, you know, we shouldn't have loaned out Sensi, we shouldn't have got him out. And you guys know I'm a massive Sensi fan. I would have loved to keep Sensi, but clearly Inzaghi lost faith in him against Venezia. He was an unused sub even after his goal he scored against Empoli in the Coppa Italia. Um, the guy just needed to go out and play, so I'm happy for him to go out and play. And just, we just got to hope he stays fit and performs so we can bring back a player that might be actually useful in the summer or we can actually finally sell because now teams and clubs can actually see that he actually can play and can stay fit. Of course now heads the most important match of the season now is that Napoli match we have to it's a must win match there's no other way around it and you can definitely not lose it but even then like I'm not I don't want to make it like a two start looking for too far ahead but honestly guys even if you know things don't work out in this super busy period month the, the the fixture list even after that you can still you know recover if, if things don't go too well uh, you just make gotta make sure that things don't slip away from you but i have faith in this team this team is still the same team that won us the title last year there's still a team of winners the championship winners in zaghi he's still learning let's not forget this is his first big job in zaghi has a learning curve uh, he deserved the criticism yesterday but it's not the end of the world guys come on it's not the end of the world i'm confident that inter can still win the scudetto by the end of the season that is the priority let's see how things work out against uh, liverpool as i said for me anything that happens in the champions league is a bonus anything that happens in the coppa italia is a bonus i'm confident that the second star is coming home by the end of the season i hope you guys are keeping faith i hope this little therapy session worked for you guys of course we will preview the roma match in the coming days keep a lookout on the channel make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video ciao champions of italy and forza inter